What's going on YouTube? What's happening? It's Beretta19 back with y'all with another video. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, hit your notification bell, and drop as many comments as you can down below. Like and share video. Woo-wee! Hope everybody's doing alright. Hope everybody is blessed. And everything. Hope everybody's doing okay. Sorry for the noise in the background if you hear it and everything. It's my uh, refrigerator unit running. I'm getting loaded. Uh, but real quick, you guys. If you're going through a bad patch in life, uh, you're frustrated, you're aggravated, please understand some God loves you, God cares about you. Cast your cares on Jesus because he loves you. Jesus dies so we can live and live life more abundantly. Dry those tears up, hold your head up, and everything, okay? You're better than that. You're a good person, you're a good man, you're a good woman. Stay motivated and everything. You're going to make it through this, okay? You're going to make it through this. Don't give up hope, all right? If you lost a loved one and everything, please understand something. <coughs> They're in heaven, they're in the arms of Jesus and everything. If you maintain the faith and obedience, one day you will see them, okay? Keep the drive alive, you keep the dream alive. Don't give up hope, you guys. God's got a, God got a blessing with your name on it, okay? I know it get hard out here, I know it get frustrated out here and everything, but it's imperative that you don't give up, okay? If God gave you, uh, God gave you ability to see another day and to wake up in the morning and everything, that's another chance for you to get it right. All right, let's get things right, y'all, while, while the time being, okay? In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys, your first time tuning into my channel, please understand something. I talk about real shit on my channel. I ain't here to bullshit nobody. I ain't here to lie to nobody. I'm here to be honest with you. I'm here to be real with you. Raw, unedited, and uncut, okay? This ain't nothing nobody gave me. This ain't something I got written down on paper. This ain't something I'm acting off paper. It's coming straight from my heart to you guys, okay? Also, I am not here to judge you. I'm not here to point out your sin. I'm not here to chastise you. I'm not here to tell you how to live your life. I have no heaven and hell to put you in. But I am here to challenge you to be a better man or better woman. Once you know better, you should do better. Okay? Somebody said some negative to you about my channel. Please tell them to go straight to hell. Because I ain't got time for negativity. You don't want to hear take your ass on somewhere. Okay? We about real shit on this channel, not bullshit. All right? You want to hear bullshit, you on the wrong channel. You want to hear real shit, you on the right channel. Okay, you guys. Topic of conversation is called today. Stand out from the crowd. I repeat, stand out from the crowd. You guys, let me tell you something and everything. A lot of this nonsense going on around here and everything. Again, I know I may not get as much publicity or much of anything from anybody and everything. But I'm just here to tell you this. And you hear me well. Okay? I'm here to tell you this and you hear me well. Think about it is, you guys. A lot of people do want to get married. A lot of women and men want to get married, want to have that significant other, want to have somebody to come home to, somebody that's concerned about them, somebody that love them and care about them. That's perfectly human, human nature to be that way. <clears throat> but understand something. Both women and men. You got to stand out uh, out from the crowd and everything. What separates you from the next man? Or what separates you from the next woman? All this talk about what a man don't need or what a woman don't need and everything. If I said it once, I said it again and everything. Quit telling people what you don't need. Start telling them what you do need. Okay? Man or woman. Don't be fooled by all this nonsense you hear come going on around here. There's only a handful of people that talk about relationships or talk about uh, whether a relationship between a man or a relationship between a woman, whatever the case may be. There's only a handful of people that I listen to. But I'm just telling you and everything. If you want, if you want to be seen as wife material, if you want to be seen as, as, as being husband material, you got to stand out from the crowd. I'm going to be real here. I'm going to be raw here and everything. He can get some booty or something for JJ's uh, anywhere. Just like you can get a penis and a man that got big muscles anywhere. But what makes y'all different? Excuse me. What makes you separate from another man or another woman? It's your character. Character, you can't just get character anywhere. You get a penis and a vagina anywhere. You can't just get character anywhere. Being real here. Okay? You got to stand out from the crowd and everything. This ain't about no money. You can have all the bling you want and everything. You can have all the money, all the cars, clothes, all the stuff you want and everything. That don't mean shit if you got a messed up ass character. It don't mean shit if you got a messed up ass character or disposition, man or woman. 
You can have a banging body. I mean, the type of body that make men just drool all over you and everything. But only thing you would be good for if you got bad carrier is somebody to lay down with. And that's no disrespect, but I'm just keeping it real with you. You heard me say this before and everything. Don't just be bedroom material. Be wife material. Again, quit telling a man what you don't need. Quit putting all these old wild ass expectations that you have for a man when you have not exceeded those very same expectations yourself. Same thing with you, man. Quit making all these expectations for a woman and everything if you ain't exceeded them yourself. Why everybody got to be commercial or be robotic? Be human. Okay? Be human. Take chance on love and everything. Don't give me this shit talking about marriage is bad. Marriage is horrible and everything. I'd rather stay single and everything. No, that's because your ass married the wrong damn person. Or you got hooked up with the wrong person. That's the problem. When you do marriage right and everything, I'm going to put it to you like this. I said this before and I made another video about it. It's called Take Your Wedding Vow Seriously. It's a video I made months, months ago and everything. Check it out on my channel. Here's the thing. When you say I do... When you say for richer or for poor, when you say for sickness or health and everything, when you say these things, God takes that seriously. God takes that. Remember, you're actually writing a, a, a covenant with him, covenant with God and your spouse, man or woman. You're writing a covenant with God. And you got people and everything, husband walk into the house, he say, well, my job just laid me off. You already out the door. Or he got into a car wreck and everything and he can never walk again. You leaving him out the door. That ain't what that was for, man. Marriage is not... Let me, put, let me break it down for you. Marriage is not just to make the woman happy. Marriage is not just to make the man happy. It's to make both of y'all happy. Both of y'all happy. All that happy wife, happy life is a bunch of bullshit. It's misleading. Yes, you want to make your wife happy. Don't get it twisted now. Take that out of context. You want your wife happy. You want her excited and jumping all bubbly and happy and everything. You want that. But at the same time and everything, women, you got to make sure you put the effort in making your husband happy. Happy. Okay? Again, everything, you want to get mad at men and everything when you keep dating boys. You want to get mad at, uh, um, excuse me, you want to get mad at grown men when you keep marrying or having kids with teenagers in disguise as grown men. So I'm just telling you and everything. You, some some men and some women out here ain't nothing but a bunch of grown children running around here. That's all they are, grown children. Uh, like I said in my last video, please tell me who raised you. Who raised you? Stand out from the crowd. Remember, he see she see a bunch of uh, dudes everywhere. She see he, he see a bunch of females everywhere. But what is it about you that got some zeroed in like a sniper that zero in on you and everything and picked you out of everybody? Vice versa, what got her picking you over everybody? I'm just saying to you, I'm just saying to you, learn to stand out from the crowd. Don't be one of them type of people and everything. You being commercial. What everybody else is doing, you got to fall in line. What the hell with that? There are good men out here. There are good women out here. Men care about women's mental health. Women care about men's mental health. Please understand something. Respect is a two-way street, not a one-way highway. It ain't just all about respecting a woman, making her happy. She got to respect the man as well and make him happy. If she care any damn thing about him, let's do shit right and everything. Don't give me this shit, old brother. You only get on the women and everything. No, I don't. I get on men and women. In some cases, more than everything uh, on men. Hell, I'm a man myself. So I'm just telling you and everything. Learn to stand out from the crowd, y'all. Quit trying to be like everything you see on TV. Half of them damn niggas ain't doing up a line anyway. They ain't got that money they say they got. And that woman, everything, she ain't, our body ain't really all built like that. If you actually met them damn people in person, you would find out that shit ain't nothing but plastic surgery. Well, he ain't doing up a fronting. Please understand some ladies. If you want to win, if you want a winner, then stop it. Excuse me. Then stop accepting. I'm gonna put it to you like this. If you want to win, then you want you want a winner on your team and everything. Then stop respect. Stop. Stop accepting losers. Okay. Stop accepting losers. Same thing with you, man. If you want you a winning woman, a winning wife, and everything, then stop. Stop accepting losers. 
You got to get some better, baby. Come on now. Remember, they ain't, God ain't stopped making women. God didn't stop making men. Just because one man done you wrong or one woman done you wrong, everything, I mean, you just damn though everybody that looks like them in, in terms of skin color or race. Let's do shit right and everything. Cut all this nonsense out. Stand out in the crowd. And how you stand out in the crowd is by your character. Be somebody that a woman can trust. Be somebody a man can trust. Quit tell, don't be come keep telling the man what you don't need. Don't be keep telling the woman what you don't need. You set your boundaries. You said you, you let them know right off the rip what you're going to tolerate and what you're not going to tolerate. Period. Man and woman. Don't become telling me and everything that if I ask you to cook me something to eat, all of a sudden now I'm enslaving you. Don't be asking, and then the woman's turn everything. Just because you ask a man to sit down and listen to you and everything, he got to make a big ass argument about it and everything. That's somebody that don't give a damn. Let's get it right, ladies. Let's get it right, gentlemen. Let's get shit right and everything. Stand out in the crowd. What makes you different than the next woman? Ask yourself that. What make you different than the next one? Don't give me this shit and everything. I'm educated. Don't give me this shit and everything. I got a bad body. Don't give me this shit. I got a pretty smile and everything. Don't give me that shit. He can find that anywhere. Don't give me this shit and everything on a woman's turn. Don't give me this shit and everything. Oh, he got, I, I got muscles. Or oh, I got, I'm blessed downstairs. If you know what I mean, everything. Don't give me that shit. She can find that anywhere. What makes you different is the reason why somebody would want to marry you or be with you. So let's get that understood, y'all. Marriage is not marriage is not a game. It's a covenant made by God. Okay? It's a covenant made with God by you and your spouse. And that's husband and wife. All this nonsense and everything that you guys uh I hear going on and all that and everything. Well, I'm gonna just stay single because ain't no good man out here. I don't care nothing about men, mental health. Or I'm gonna just stay single women out here, they all cheat, lie, and play games. That's not true. All women and all men ain't the same. And first of all, if all men and all women are the same, then explain to me why we got people liking the same sex then, if all men and all women are the same. That alone should tell you that everything. That's bullshit. Remember, you want somebody that's going to love you, somebody that's going to care about you, somebody that even with your flaws, they still love you, and they still accept you for who you are, and they respect you for what you've been through that made you who you are. That's man or woman. Let's do shit right around here. Stand out in the crowd. You so focused on, don't as a woman and everything, don't be so focused on everything looking cute all the damn time. Where are your qualities at? Where are your morals at? But where, where are your wifey type intangibles at? Where are they? Again, he can go get a cute face anywhere. He gonna get a big butt anywhere. He gonna get a big breast anywhere. She can go get a big penis anywhere. What make you stand out? What make you stand out? It's your character. How you treat people. How you interact with people. When somebody is down and everything, can they turn to you for help? When somebody need guidance and everything, are you going to lead them the right way or lead them down the wrong way? Your character is what separates you and your heart is what separates every man from every man. And the heart and character is what separates every woman from every woman. Stand out in the crowd. Make that man see all this mess, see past all this mess in front of him and everything. I don't care how pretty it is. See past all this mess in front of him and everything and pick you because you respect him. You love him. You care about him. He knows you down for him. He knows you got his back. You ain't sitting there judging him. You ain't, every time he come to the house and everything, he ain't got to hear a bunch of arguing and acting a damn fool. Yeah, hell, that'd drive Satan out of hell. And he crooked as hell. Who would I want to come home every damn day hear all of that? And same thing with you men. Don't nobody, don't no woman want to come home and feel like she's being bossed around all the time. Appreciate your girl for you loser. There are some women that are wife material. It's very few, very few. But there are some women out here that are wife material. They love you. They ain't telling you that you ain't no good. They ain't telling you or telling you or treating you any kind of way and everything. They respect you. They care about you. They worried about you. Let's do shit right around here, y'all.
Just do shit right around here. Don't give me this shit and everything. Or well, the reason why I'm single is I ain't met that right man or right woman yet. No, 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 no. The reason why you are single and everything, because it may have something to do with you. I mean, that could be the case. That could be. I take that back. That could be the case. You may not have met the right man or right woman. But then take a look at what are your expectations for a man or a woman? What are your expectations? You want a man to make $100,000 a year? You want a man You want a man to drive a nice car? You want a man to have a big old house? I got a question to ask you. Do you have those things? Same thing with you, man. You want a woman to be faithful to you, respect you, treat you right? I got a question to ask you. Have you ever treated any woman right in the past? Have you ever cheated on any woman in the past? Quit putting expectation on each other and everything when you have not done them yet or exceeded them yet. I'm going to tell you my expectation. I'm a single man, 32 years old. They, all that, they say all that bachelor shit, all that and everything, whatever. I'm going to tell, I'm, I'm tell you how I am, my expectation. Number one, most importantly, she has to love God. She got to make sure and everything that her walk uh, with God is correct. That's number one. Because you ain't got God, ain't shit going to work. Going to keep rich stuff, keep, uh, keep shit real. Number two and everything, she got to respect me. And what I mean by respect and everything, I'm not saying bow down and serve me. Hell, I'm not Jesus. But when I'm saying everything, don't be getting me talking to me outside of your head. Don't be putting your hands on me. Don't be doing none of that shit. Because now you're going to cause a problem. I ain't none of these little goofy niggas out here. You ain't going to be punching and kicking and throwing stuff at me. The wrong man. That don't make me crazy. I'm just being real with you. I'm there go again. I'm setting boundaries. Another thing and everything, you can cook. But if you don't know how to cook, I can teach you. Because me, now most men and everything, that's mandatory. That a woman know how to cook. For me, that's not mandatory. I can teach you if you want to learn. Okay? I mean, don't get me wrong. It'd be nice for a woman to cook for you. But I'm a type of man I know how to cook myself. Oh, uh, yeah, again. I know how to cook myself. It's not that I don't want a woman to cook, but I know how to cook myself. I know how to pay bills, know how to clean, know how to do all that shit already. But if you want to learn how to cook, because you, for whatever reason your mama didn't teach you, or grandma didn't teach you and everything, if you really want to learn, I have no problem teaching you. I have no problem teaching you. And there are things you can teach me. Okay? Trust me, I don't know everything. I'm always willing to learn something, especially if it's right. Another thing, uh, another uh, thing on my list and everything, I got to make sure I can trust you. I got to make sure I can trust you. I'm not going to hold you to what people have done to me in the past against what people have done to me, done to me in the past, and everything, I'm not going to hold that against you because you had nothing to do with that. But I want to see and everything, can I trust you? I work every day, every day. I work over 70 hours a week. I drive a semi. I try to be safe out here. I treat women with respect. I don't call them out their name, whether you believe it or not. Whether you believe it or not. I've never cheated on any woman I ever uh, uh, dated, whether you believe that or not. I don't play games like that. If I'm with you, I'm with you. If I ain't with you, I ain't with you. But I'm just saying. Those are just a handful of uh, my expectations. And the reason why I can give those expectations. Notice I didn't say she had to be rich. I'm not materialistic, people. Never have been. I didn't grow up that way. Now, having nice things, uh, nice things is nice, but I'm not, I'm not cut that way. You ain't got to uh, sit here and buy me this and buy me that and everything. Just show me that you care. And something else that they almost forgot. Do she listen? Can you listen to me, woman? I ain't your, I am not a type of man that boss you around, but can you listen to me? You feel where I'm coming from. Can I be vulnerable with you without you throwing up in my face or I hearing from your friends or your family? I need to know these things. I need to know and everything. If I lose everything today and everything, are you going to walk away? I need to know. So I'm just telling you, and please understand something. Your beauty is what attracts my attention, but it's your character in your heart what keeps my attention. Remember what I just said earlier. I can find a beautiful woman uh, somewhere else. Just like you can find you a handsome man somewhere else. It's got to be something different in everything. It's got to be something different. All right? So let's get y'all get that understood. Stand out from the crowd. Be the man or woman that God has for you. Don't give me this shit and everything. God ain't never seen you a decent woman or never seen you a decent man. That's a bunch of hogwash. I'm sure he have at some point in your life and everything. But the problem was you may not have been ready or didn't notice it. Remember, God knows what type of man or woman you are when the doors are closed. 
He knows the real you. That's why he sent that, that type of woman or that type of man in your direction. Because he knows the real you. So you know, sit here and put on for size and everything. Be yourself. Stop being commercial. Stop being what everybody wants you to be. Stop being what social media wants you to be. Be yourself. And you'll be just fine. All right? Stand out from the crowd. That's something I've learned. Something I've, I've perfected and everything. I'm not rich. I don't have everything. I don't have this. I may not have that and everything, but I know I'm a good man. Yeah, I got a job. I work, like I said. I know what it is to do this. I know what it is to been through that. And the stuff that I've been through in life has molded and shaped me while I act the way I do. So I'm just saying and everything. Let's get things together, y'all. Let's get things together. It's Beretta 19. Remember what I told y'all. You can find a cute girl. You can find a good-looking dude anywhere. But it's their character and their heart that separates them from each other. Let's get that right. Brother 19, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Be blessed. Take care. Don't forget what I told you. I ain't bullshitting you. Okay? I'm single and everything because I have not found. Again, I can go get some little cute face. But I want me a wife. And finding a wife is hard to find. Because you got to have them qualities. And it's just like a job interview. I'm going to say this and I'm done. Just like a job interview. When you fill out that application, you hand it to the manager. If they don't feel you meet, the, meet their criteria, what are they going to do? We give you a call. Oh, I'm sorry, we're not. you're not what we're looking for. That's the same thing in relationships. So let's get that straight, y'all. We're at a 19. That goes for man and woman, by the way. We're at a 19. Catch you on the next video.